Because of this experience, I have access to heaven and the spirit world. Since then, I have had many communications from people now living in heaven, including my children, Tylee Ashland and Joshua Jackson, my sisters, Stacy and Lolly, my aunts and my uncles and my grandparents. I have had many communications with Jesus Christ, the savior of this world and our heavenly parents. I've had many angelic visitors have come and communicated with me and even manifested themselves to me. Because of these communications, I know for a fact that my children are happy and busy in the spirit world. Because of my communications with my friend, Tammy Daybell, I know that she is also very happy and extremely busy. Okay, I mean that, I don't even know what to say about that. We also saw a very powerful speech by Judge Stephen Boyce who told Lori that she buried her children like animals and then took blood money after their deaths. You moved to Rexburg, a community where you could find a thousand random families to take your children and you brought them here to murder them. You had so many other options. You could have gotten divorced. You could have found someone to take care of those kids. But as the state was able to prove at trial, you chose the most evil and destructive path possible. You killed those children, according to the state's theory, and I believe it, to remove them as obstacles and to profit financially. You justified all of this by going down a bizarre religious rabbit hole, and clearly you are still down there. They were found dead, burned, mutilated, and dismembered, and buried like animals. After you knew they were dead, you collected public funded assistance payments meant for them, and that was blood money you kept for yourself. So disturbing. I'm joined now by three people who were in the courtroom for today's sentencing. Larry and Kay Woodcock are J.J. Vallow's grandparents, and Vicki Hoban is Tammy Daybell's aunt. Uh, Kay and Vicki read impact statements you heard there at today's hearing, some of which um, you just heard part of their statement there. Thank you so much to all three of you for, for being with us tonight after such, such an emotional day. Um, I, I want to start with you, Kay. You know, um, I was surprised when Lori spoke and my first thought was just hoping that she was going to own up to some of this or at least sound sorry. Uh, what, what did you think when those words first started coming out of her mouth, Kay? Um, hi, Brian. Thanks for having us. Um, what I think, I just, it was more vile BS spewing out of her mouth, just like it's been for uh, several years. That it was just... And the, 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 to say that J.J. and Tylee were happy and busy, I mean, come on. And then her friend, her friend Tammy Daybell, are you kidding me? I mean, get out of here. Nobody. She is, this is part of her um, farce, her hoax, her, and she's never going to give it up because if she does, then she'll know she'll, it, it, anyway, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just more of her crap, but it's Brian. Really there's no other, no, no other way to put it. Yeah, Vicky, I have to say, um, I'm not sure that I believe that she really believes it. I know there are people out there who are saying, oh, she's still <laughs> she in a trance. Does. You know, she's still in a trance. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. Oh, she still can't break it. She's under the trance. I'm just not sure, Vicky, that I believe that she really believes all that. I feel like it's an act. I do. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I, I think that she's um, creating a narrative now that will make her look crazy, which is, I don't believe. I think she is just trying to figure out how to maybe get a new trial. I don't know. It just, it was such an incredible <clears throat> uh, slap in the face for her to continue to talk about Tammy as a friend when um, she was murdered in cold blood. 
and to say that Tylee and JJ are happily working and that they come to visit. I mean, it was just incredibly difficult to sit in a seat and listen to that and not be able to have anybody say anything. Uh, she, she chose her last statement poorly. Larry, what was it like for you being inside the courtroom? I mean, I think I, I just can't imagine having to stay quiet through all of that. I know there's rules and decorum, but um, that, that must have been difficult to listen to, Larry. It, absolutely, it was, Brian. Yes, I had to sit there and I couldn't say a word, but I'll summarize this pretty quickly. She is absolutely playing this system. She's built, she is Lori. She will do that. There is no way that she is a special being, that she talks to God, that she talks to uh, Vic, uh, to, uh, yeah, to the kids, kids yeah. that she talks to Tammy. That is a ridiculous mistake. I, pardon me, that is a, rig, a ridiculous statement. I can tell you right now that that is nothing more than a five gallon back bucket of BS. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.